guys, TJ here with American Renovation. In today's segment, I'm gonna focus on the floor of a bathroom. Take a look at this flooring right here. It's a mosaic tile. The problem with this one is it's glass. It's gonna cause slippage. It's got a lot of grout lines. It's gonna be dirty. Plus, it's prone to getting broken if you got high heels on. So what we wanna do is go ahead and remove any obstacles out of the way. Here's the door, pop it off the hinge, get it out of the way. Over here, we got a toilet. What I wanna do is use a shop bag, empty out the water, get a contractor bag, wrap the toilet in the contractor bag, and take it down into the garage. The reason is, is we don't want any drippage along the way up until we get to the garage. Take a look at the floor again. You see the base molding. We wanna remove the base molding on the perimeter, and we're ready to get the demo started. Now that I got the floor completely demoed out, I'm gonna show you a few common problems in a bathroom. Take a look at this subfloor right here. You're gonna notice some water residue marks. This is telling me that the floor's got some water issues. That means there's a seal problem. A little further back, you're gonna notice that the subfloor and the shower pan, there's a huge gap. Another item that we need to address before we move forward. The item next is near the toilet. Take a look. We got some water damage around there. Another issue that we need to address before we put the next step. The next step being the hardy backer. What I want to do is apply the hardy backer when it's ready. Put some red guard on there. I like to put three coats to make sure it's completely waterproof. Once it's waterproof, I'm going to put a silicone strip near the shower. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and place my tile. All right, so here we got the uh, toilet flange. I got the hardy right in front of me. It's cut for this section right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this guy right here. So I have seven inches across. So half of that would be three and a half. And I want a little bit of play. So I'm going about three and three quarters. So I'll take this, put it on my center mark that I've marked approximately to the center. So from here to here, I got about 11 and a half to the center of the drain. On this side, I got about 18 and a half to the center of the drain. So that right there is my cross. I'm gonna stick this to the middle and go ahead and create a circle all the way around. And I can cut this guy out. If I want to double check before I cut, I can just measure to the perimeter and then measure to the perimeter and it looks good. Same thing on this side, I'm reading about seven and a half. And it's reading seven and three quarters and I'm meeting seven and a half, so we're good. Now that I got the uh, hardy backer down in the cut section, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of it. down all the way down the perimeter on the last one and get yourself a good number to work with so I got on one end 14 on the other end 14 and a quarter so I'm probably just gonna go 14 all the way and that's gonna give me a good seam and then whatever gap I have left over I'm just gonna put some mesh and some thin set and that's going to take care of any of the gaps that you see as well. Take out my last piece ready to go. 
Whatever my measurement is, I like to always go an eighth shorter. So I got some play. So on this one, I'm gonna, it's reading 10 and three quarters. I'm gonna go ahead and at least cut to 10 and five eighths. And again, on this side, we're gonna go ahead and cut it at 14. Now that I got all the pieces, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some screws down and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some mesh, thin set, take care of all the gaps, and it's gonna be uh, ready for tile next. The hardy is all set. Take a look at the ground. You're gonna notice how we got the screws every so often, the mesh on the perimeter, on the seams, around the flange, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin set, this is quick thin set, and we're going to put it on all of the tape, and this is gonna give us a good bond. This thin set is called speed set because it dries so fast. As you noticed on the ground, you were seeing a gray tone and a darker gray tone. And that's because the lighter tone is the drying and it didn't take too long. I just put this down within the last 20 minutes. So at this time, this is gonna go ahead and dry within the hour. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and put some red guard down. So uh, this bathroom originally had the mosaic style tiles on the floor, the glass tiles, and uh, some gaps in the corners here, some uh, dry rot in some areas, and I know the base molding was uh, you know, moist, so we went ahead and replaced it with all new base molding. The tile has been placed, we ended up using quarter inch hardy, and the reason was, was we wanted to try to bring it to roughly the same height as the existing floor and that worked out pretty good and we also put a backsplash in the uh, on top of the countertop here the flooring is done and clients are happy until next time happy renovation